Um, I think that there's a lot of employability skills in the team because, kind of, especially with an English degree, it's not very vocational, so you get a lot of vocational skills like team work, working with a team and... Yeah, I think it's a um, good practical experience on a project that you wouldn't necessarily get it, when you when you do like seminar group work. It's not the same. It's not. It's more. It's not the same sort of group experience that you get um, of building a team from the beginning, working with other people, sort of dividing up team roles, yeah, and um, prioritizing your tasks and managing your time well. There's a lot of things like copywriting and stuff like you wouldn't even think about in your degree, and a lot of things that can even be considered like addressing a target market and marketing and you just wouldn't have done it in your degree at all so I think it's really an apart from like learning about different employments as well so apart from you've got a lot more knowledge when you finish so you and now to do a lot more vocational things and a lot more specific yeah. roles and there's a lot of different roles and people in the team that so if, if you wanted to get involved with media or publishing then you can get involved with the editorial side of things or writing but if you've never thought about like there were financial aspects of the um, team as well so if you've never thought about managing a budget this is a good way to get involved with something like that as well it's worth getting involved with the easing project because you meet so many different people who have different sort of strengths and you you learn how to gel in a team that you've never worked with before. I think that's the main thing for me um, that I learned. And also you just get to push yourself in ways that you wouldn't have before. Like I'd never run an event like from start to finish having to be responsible for like the public publication of it, the publicising of the actual event, the selling the tickets. So it's a real thing from start to finish and which you get to see through and I don't think you could you could have got that experience from anywhere else, I think. I think it's a confidence thing as well. If you have the confidence to, you know, go out there and try and sell your project, mm. then you have the confidence and see it and see the project through, then you have the confidence to go and do the next thing that you think will, you know, have a, a positive impact on your employability as well. Exactly. I think the easier project, doing all these different things, speaking to people that you would never I would never have spoken to before on the phone and in person, things like that, it does build up your confidence. It builds up how you how you interact with different people, you know, I mean, it's just, it's not just that you need, yeah, having to make an impression on the outside world, mm -hmm. which is like, yeah, it's a valuable skill. Uh, I think the main piece of advice I would give is just to, to go for it, and even if it sounds daunting, like, not to get too worried about it, um, and be organised. I think at, at times when we've been in danger of falling apart, it's been down to kind of setting a meeting, getting everyone together, and talking about things in person, I think when you work in a team is always really important. Yeah, it's definitely important. One thing I'd say is definitely to break it down because I think the project definitely to me seemed really daunting and like I didn't think there'd be any way that I could find a way to like, um, get involved in it in a productive way without being scared of it. But when we actually got started, if you thought about it in stages and then um, did like delegate tasks and made sure that everyone had something to do and you were making like consistent progress, that was the best way of getting things done. So yeah, and plus if people step in when it's needed and you kind of identify that everyone has different responsibilities. Yeah, I think the easing easy project has really showed the power of the team. Like, at the start, uh, the task seemed to be so big. and um, We, I think a lot of members didn't actually feel they had enough skills to actually do it by themselves and um, I feel like we've really learned the value of team. I wanted to set the project up because I really felt that a lot of the English students that I was seeing felt quite unsure about what they were going to do and also because I work with the English department and not many students were turning up to my events um, <laughs> I wanted a way of thinking well I I think you want to get involved in things, but it's just making it a priority and making it interesting, getting you guys to see the value in it. So I just thought that a project that relates to publishing and media, advertising, events, which is what a lot of the students that I've seen anyway, a lot of English students are interested in that, it will get you to be exposed to those kind of areas but at the same time, it will raise the profile of careers and get people thinking about it more within the department. So, yeah, I just thought it would be something that would help individuals involved in the project, but something that could help everybody who studies English.